Hey guys, I just wanted to give you another update on those seven end phase inverters that I hooked up to my array. Um, you can see MTU1 and MTU2. MTU2 is actually the seven end phase inverters. They're hooked up to 1050 watts worth of panels. The MTU1 is five 500 watt Sun G grid tie inverters. And that's hooked to 2,360 watts of solar panels. It's a real cloudy day, so we might not get a good reading here. A little while ago, I saw the MTU2 was up to 1,012 watts, which is really pretty good considering 1,050 watts worth of panels going into it. I'm hoping we'll get a little break in the clouds here. I only have two sets of MTUs. An MTU is basically a clamp that goes around your power line that comes into your breaker box and gives you readings of what type of wattage you're pushing. This is a TED 5000 display. It's actually up on my TV now so we can see it. You can see the 937 there. That would be the two MTUs combined. I just have them both set up as generating. You can set them up as load, generating, a few different things. I just have it set up this way so I can compare the two. Alright, and that's the TED set up. I'll take a walk outside here. Of course, now the sun's going to pop out as soon as I get out here. <clears throat> These are my three DIY panels here. They run into a 250 watt sun grid tie inverter, which would not be displayed on those MTUs. That just goes into the wall socket. A little windmill I grabbed at the dump one day. Stuck it on a treadmill motor. That's actually one of the better treadmill motors I've found. I think it's like 3300 RPMs. Most of them are a lot higher. The wind max is working today. Not sure that we'll see it because you can see the clouds in the background. Really cloudy. But anyhow, this setup here is just the way I have it set up. It doesn't mean it's right. It doesn't mean anybody else should do it this way. Over here, that little box there is a DC disconnect. That's for my DC side, which is running these five Sun 500G grid tie inverters. They work really well. He's inverters. I have no complaints. The only reason I'm trying out the other end phase inverters is for the longevity. I figured they'd last a long time. And they are UL listed, the end phase. This here is a AC disconnect. This is where my end phase inverters run into. There's seven of them. That cable there is the DC side. Or actually the AC side, sorry. That runs back both of these are AC. They both run back to my house, way down there, and go into my fuse panel. This is the part that some people probably don't like, but it works fine for me. You can see this cable, this here, my hand is on, is a three quarter inch copper pipe. The one below it is another three quarter inch pipe with insulation over it just to keep anything from arcing off of it. Those are actually my DC bus bars. They run the whole length of this. I just had a few pipes hanging around so that's what I used. So that's the DC side. We'll go here and we'll see the end phase. I got a number six ground running through all of them. There's one end phase, two, three, four, five, six 
seven. Seven of them. And they just have a little DC MC4 connectors. You can see here, well, maybe you can't. So I just had to plug those right into my panels. <laughs> and right now, I just have these bottom seven panels hooked to the end phase. Now I can just add end phase inverters as I go. They're not the cheapest things in the world, but I think they're going to work out pretty good. The wind max was cranking a little while ago out here. Of course, now that I'm out here, it stops. But all right, let's try to get one more reading in the house there. Seems like the sun's popping a little. Like I said, that setup out there is that's just the way I have it. Doesn't mean anybody else should do it that way. But it works for me. We all kind of do our own things. Come back in here and see. Right now it's only pushing 395 through the end phase. 593 through the sun, 500 watt inverters. I was hoping I could get some good readings for you guys, but you can see the total is 988. Okay, so there goes my TV. This video is getting a little bit long. I usually don't like to make them this long. And you get bored sitting there watching them. Just move on to the next one usually. Alright, it's not going to happen for us I guess, guys. Actually, right now I'm wondering if my TED is communicating because it's not the numbers aren't changing at all. Sometimes that bleeps out for a few seconds. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. If I can pull a few more good readings off of here, I'll try that later. Like I said, I saw 1,015 earlier. Well, I can see here my display is updating. Maybe it's actually the computer side that's not. Let's try something here. Here, refresh it. Okay, one second. This is probably the longest video I've ever made. Try to get us back to where we need to be here. Okay, that helped. So, like I said earlier, the MTU1 is hooked to five 500 watt sun grid tie inverters, the MTU2 is hooked to seven. 190 240 volt end phase inverters. MTU2 has 1050 watts hooked to it. MTU1 has 2360 watts hooked to it. I'm getting up there, 922. Alright, I guess we're not going to get the big number with the clouds, but. I'm pretty impressed with it. I just hooked it up yesterday, so this is the first little glimpse I've got of it and the first little glimpse you've got of it. I'll keep you updated. Thanks for watching.